Hi, welcome to Asia Golf Courses. I'm Trevor, and today I'm joined by Kun Mike Messamonta, who is the founder of the Eastern Golf Management Association. Kun Mike, thank you so much for inviting us to talk to you today. Thank you for inviting me. Um, now, we're here at Burupa Golf Course. I have to say, it's one of your courses under your management association, and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, Kun Mike, please tell me about the Golf Association. What is it that uh, pro you to, for, to found it and to actually build this association? Well, uh, we like to have the association to make a standard for every one of us, for every one golfer who is traveling to Thailand, whether locally or internationally, to have the same standard that they expected at home. Okay, so is it a bit like um, when you go to a hotel, you book a hotel, and as you know, you get five-star hotels, you get normal hotels. So is that kind of the same system here with the golf courses? That exactly, I copy the hotel management oh. style. Because, because the golf course need some sort of hotel management to, to, you know, to verify how good you are. Sure, and I mean, obviously, for those of you that are watching, I mean, when you do come to a golf course, you all know you want to play on the best courses, you want to make sure all the facilities are everything that you're looking for, and that's something that you set a very high standard with, isn't it? Right, so uh, it means that uh, you are paying for what you expect for, yeah. Sure, and what, what caused you to find this? Was it something that you'd noticed in yourself as a golfer? You'd been around different courses, and some you'd thought were well, fantastic, others perhaps you felt, well, maybe I wasn't expecting to find this level. Is that what prompted you to do this? Yes, uh, I would say that like people are expecting high, middle, and low for the price they pay. Okay. So you have to have something that answer all you need. Sure. Right. And yourself, obviously, you're a golfer. Right, I am single handicap. Now, as part of the association, you've got a lot of golf courses involved with you, haven't right. you? And those golf courses obviously support another foundation that you're very responsible for, which is for the caddies. Can you tell us a bit more about the caddies? Caddy is the most important in Thailand. It's the most important tool of our marketing tool of every golf course in Thailand because they, does, they are the one who spend with the customer at least four to five, five and a half hours. So they need to be communicate. Mm -hmm. They need to understand. So uh, we, we're making the game the Caddy Championship. So uh, Caddy will learn about the etiquette of golf, the rules of yeah. golf. Once they turn themselves as a player, they will know how to uh, entertain their client better. Sure. Now, uh, for those of you watching, I'm sure many of you that have been to Thailand have, have used the caddies here, and myself included, I have had a go, and albeit very badly. Um, but I'm unknown to quite a lot of people. These caddies are actually really good players, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Uh, when I started it, they were shooting uh, in the high 90. Yeah. But after eight years, now they are scratch player, many of them. Yeah, right. I mean, a uh, scratch player, I mean, that's just something I could only ever dream about yeah. achieving it, and right. for many other golfers as well. Right, it's a good achievement, right. And, and so this year you've got the, the final coming up, haven't you? You've, you've been doing the tournament all the year ready, and, and you've got a big, big finale coming up. Just tell us a bit about the finale. Yeah, they're coming on 25th of September, everyone from around Thailand to compete for the final 100 to be the best of Thailand champion caddy championship. Yeah. And also we have a few of international, 44 players from seven countries, that including China, Japan, Korea, as well as Vietnamese and Cambodia and Thailand competing wow. in that international title wow. as well. And, and the, the fortunate caddy that's the winner, what, what's going to happen oh, for the winner? They get to take them out to, uh, as a bonus. They will, the, winner, the sixth winner will be, uh, will be taken to uh, Santibri, Chiang Rai. Yeah. Which is including airfare, five star hotel, five star two day five star golf course at Santibri of course. Wow. And wow. all pay for. Wow. Right. And they're also gonna go to Vietnam, I believe. Right. right. Uh, once they get back they'll prepare for another month to go to visiting Vietnam. Uh, could be Da Nang, one of the popular destinations in Asia. Okay. And they will see what the international are doing. Okay. So they can learn about the Thai culture and Vietnamese culture, how the other doing for their future development. Okay, and here at Burupa, have we got any star caddies in the making? Is there anybody in the, in the final coming up? Every year Burupa will be in the final and also have won the final too. Okay, well. So we had like more, something like 10 players, which are very good. Yes. But uh, the whole field of Burupa is about 50 now that right. play out of 300. Wow. So 
from an outsider's perspective looking in and for those of us that are coming here to the courses obviously the caddies do a great job they support you they know the course inside out and they're, right. they're detrimental to how well you can play and they're, they're full of advice but obviously you know a lot of these caddies do actually want to become golfers but obviously they don't have that the ability and, and the future head and you're creating that aren't you right and if someone wants to get involved and somebody wants to help maybe uh, fund or sponsor or anything like that, is that a possibility? We are open for that. We are open for that. Right now, caddies are lucky that the golf course support them. They can go out and play in the afternoon once everybody got off the, off, uh, off the, the playing time. So it will be caddy time late, late in the afternoon. They, yeah. they can get nine holes in every day. They can shoot at the driving range all free of charge. Wow. And I have my professional uh, training them. Okay. So okay. guiding them to, to the better player. Okay. Well, there you go. So as you can see, there's a lot more to the EGA than just taking care of the golf courses. And it's a very, very uh, worthy cause. And, you know, developing these caddies, it's something which, you know, they don't have the opportunity to do. So if you are interested and you are thinking about how you can support Ken Mike here and, and the caddies that you're often taking for granted and think, well, they're just going to you know, wheel me around in the buggy. If you are interested, please get in touch. If you look along the bottom of the screen now, you'll see the website there available for the EGA. So you can just click on that website. It'll take you straight directly to Ken Mike. And who knows? You know, you might be sponsoring the next top caddy here and and right. and, and beyond. So uh, so please do get in touch with Ken Mike. It's a fantastic cause, and uh, and I'd like to congratulate you on what is really a, a tremendous thank you. achievement. Thank you very much. Yeah. So there you go, guys. So thank you for watching Asia Golf Courses. Uh, if you are interested, I say please do get in touch with Ken Mike. It's a fantastic thing. Look on the EGA website because all the golf courses that are in the association are listed there. You know what you're going to get. You know the expectations and the high level of standard of golfing that you can expect when you come here. So please. Take the time to have a look and thank you very much for watching.